This uh, research has been conducted at the Lady Davis uh, Institute for Medical Research in the Siegel Cancer Center, which is part of the Jewish General Hospital. Our research in our lamp focuses on the genetics of breast cancer. We are particularly interested in the role of the angiogen receptor in breast cancer. Now, while this may at first seem counterintuitive, if you consider that the vast majority of breast cancer cases occur postmenopausal when there is a change in the ratio of uh, androgens to estrogens, uh, you can see that it has a certain degree of logic. In addition, there are now instances where different tumors from the same person have a different genetic profile. And in other words, they exhibit genetic heterogeneity. And even more recently, within the same tumor, you can have, again, uh, what we call intra-tumor uh, genetic heterogeneity. To try and get a handle on this, uh, this problem, uh, we decided to analyze variants in the angiogen receptor gene. What we did is we took six uh, advanced stage tumors and then subjected them to laser capture microdissection to uh, separate out normal tissue within the tumor and the actual cancerous tissue. And in addition, we also sequenced matching blood samples from each of the patients. We then uh, sequenced them using next generation sequencing in which uh, we used 20,000 reads rather than the normal uh, number of reads, which can vary usually from about 30 to 50. The reason for this was because we were dealing with genetic heterogeneity, we uh, decided to over-sequence uh, in order to be able to just examine uh, the sequence, the angiogen receptor gene sequence, in a few cells. Now, the, the factor that we looked at in the angiogen receptor gene was uh, a functional polymorphism in the first exon of the angiogen receptor gene, which is known to uh, differentiate the activity of the angiogen receptor gene. Now, when we looked at our results, we indeed found a high degree of intratumor genetic heterogeneity of this CAG repeat. In normal tissues, the CAG repeat can vary in length from 18 to 25. Uh, and normally, of course, a normal individual, it's an X-linked gene, you only have two variants. In our case, uh, we had multiple variants, uh, sometimes over 30 variants within each of the samples. What was interesting was that each of the samples had a different frequency of distribution of the, this CAG repeat. In normal tissue, what was fascinating was is that by far the dominant CAG repeat length was zero, something that never normally occurs within tissues. Uh, the breast cancer tissue, on the other hand, had many less zero repeats, and most of the repeats were in the 18 to 25 normal range. And the matching blood had no zero repeats. In fact, all its repeats were within the 18 to 25 uh, CAG repeat length. Now, um, these results uh, illustrated something quite interesting. First of all, it showed that the CAG repeat lengths pre-existed in normal tissue. Uh, and that what appeared to happen was is that there was a selection process taking place whereby uh, in menopause uh, the longer repeats were selected for. Now, to understand the biology behind this, we have to understand that the shorter CAG repeat uh, length is the most active. And therefore, we can hypothesize that uh, the shorter CAG repeat essentially was uh, selected for premenopausal because there was very relatively low ratio of androgens to estrogens. But postmenopausal, this selection pressure had changed because now the androgen to estrogen uh, ratio had changed radically so that longer repeats were now selected for. And the hypothesis is, is that the shorter CAG repeats are in fact somehow protective uh, to prevent the cells from becoming breast cancer. The most important message, though, is that uh, it is important now not just to consider the presence of uh, of a particular gene variant, but we have to start to analyze the frequency of a gene variant. And uh, hopefully, this will enable us to really pick out for the first time 
those genes and those variants that really are of critical importance in breast cancer.